Newport Pioneer High School for the NBL Tournament Boys Championship game. And it's the Cardinal Newman Cardinals taking on the Windsor Jaguars. The Windsor Jaguars are undefeated in NBL play. These teams have met twice during the regular season. Both times Windsor was able to get over on the Cardinals. But Cardinal Newman hopes to come together tonight and put their game on for this NBL Tournament Championship in front of the packed house at Piner High School. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Ron Weedy and uh, young coach at Windsor, Travis Taylor. He's got his team playing great basketball. They're extremely confident. But you know the old pro, Tom Montfili, is going to make things difficult on the Jacks tonight. Yeah, well, they're going to need to. Well, for Travis Taylor, he has his team at 14-0 in league. They've won 16 in a row. The last time they lost a game, Dave, it was last year. On the 30th of December to Dublin, a game they lost by five points. This is a super talented squad. They shoot the outside shot. They play great defense. They score in transition. They dunk the basketball. Uh, they're an exciting team. On the other hand, Cardinal Newman, they're a very disciplined defensive team. They have Cody Baker who shoots the ball well. And Connor Rubatino, he seems to be back. He's in back in rare form. Connor Rubatino had 18 points in the game against Montgomery to advance to this. And uh, he had three big threes at the end of that game. So big shot Bob might be back tonight. Yeah, you know, there have been a lot of injuries for Cardinal Newman during football season, both Damian Wallace and Connor Rubatino with knee injuries. But Connor Rubatino has slowly but surely crept back and regaining his old form, shooting better, being able to get to the basket. And uh, he's the guy that really has to lead Cardinal Newman offensively. Well, for anybody that saw him play last year, he was one of the most impressive high school players I have ever seen. He could shoot the ball in the clutch. He could drive to the basket, use either hand. He was good on defense, and he gathers himself for the three-point shot so well. He's a very alert, very aware player what's going on in the game, and he can knock it down from outside. As I mentioned, he had 18 points. Now, in the first meeting that we covered on the 13th between these two teams, he wasn't able to shoot the ball. His knee was still bothering him. He couldn't elevate. He couldn't release as well as he'd like to, and so it'll be inter interesting to see how well he does tonight. For Windsor, Gabe Knight has been the leading scorer all year long, although he has a great supporting cast. But Gabe Knight, particularly the first time these teams met, has been a great player all year for Windsor. Yeah, that was a game that they won 58-44 over Cardinal Newman. Now, Gabe Knight had 24 points in that contest and was our player of the game here on YSN 365. But this guy has unlimited range. I mean, he can shoot it from 28 feet. He can take you off the dribble. He can get it to... Uh, to Johnson off the dribble who can dunk the basketball too. This is a very disciplined team. They have six seniors that play a lot of minutes, five that start. These guys know they know each other very well. And Dave, Dave, they've won 16 games in a row. They're 24 and three. The one big thing that I was looking at though is this is a team that's only two and two on a neutral court. So out of the four games they've played on neutral court, they've only won two, 50-50. That might bode well for Cardinal Newman here tonight. All right, well, this should be a great one here tonight. We've got two terrific coaches going head-to-head -head here at Piner High School. It is Travis Taylor, the young Turk, going up against the old pro, Tom Bonfili, who has over 700 wins in his career. It's Cardinal Newman and Windsor coming up next. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Welcome back. It is now time for the National Anthem and 
Cardinal Newman assistant coach, Phil Ching will do the honors here at Piner High School. starting lineups now. First, we're going to take a look at Cardinal Newman. Interesting change in their lineup tonight. At the point guard position, Trevin Anderson Soria gets the start tonight. Connor Rubitino, Seth Doolittle, Gavin Dove, and Jalen Doral. Actually, Cody Baker is in the starting lineup. Chase Knowles, Gabe Knight, Curtis Johnson, Parker Kennedy, and Brent Tucker for the Windsor Jaguars. Well, I think the key to the to this basketball game is do not let Windsor, if you're Cardinal Newman, get off to a fast start. Get a hand in their face for the three. Stay within uh, striking distance in the first quarter and uh, just play really good defense. Any misses, any misses by the Jaguars, you gotta get the rebound. It is a packed house here at Piner tonight. Cardinal Newman crowd fired up and here we go. Chase Knowles up top, gets it over to Parker Kennedy. Kennedy for three. A little strong, Gavin Dove has it. Well, Kennedy, he can shoot the outside shot, but if I'm Cardinal Newman, I'll settle for that shot over Tucker or Knight from the outside. Set too little, gets it to Gavin Dove. No good. Chase Knowles has the rebound. So both teams with one possession. 0-0, and here's Chase Knowles. Got it, Seth Doolittle comes down with the rebound for Cardinal Newman. Both these teams pride themselves on defense. Defense leads to offense. Cody Baker flashing it underneath, and it's a throwaway. Connor McCarthy, who's really improved offensively this year. He's a tough guy. Good rebounder, but he's also been able to do some scoring. Yeah, super talented on a defensive end as well. Well, in the first matchup on the 13th of January, Windsor won 58-44. On the 2nd of February, Dave, they won 58-33. They, they really put it to Cardinal Newman in the second matchup. And there's Gabe Knight. What we should do tonight is count the layups on the right-hand side of the basket. I went back and watched the game we did last time. Newman turns it over as Trevin Anderson Soria shuffles his feet. And through the third quarter, Cardinal Newman gave up 15 layups on the right-hand side of the basket versus three attempts on the left-hand side. So let's see if the Jaguars continue to attack the right side of the basket against the Cardinal Newman. 
Curtis Johnson, tough shot with Seth Doolittle right in his face. Doolittle, a great defender, has long arms. Fresh 35 for the Jags. You can see Cardinal Newman's playing a sagging defense. They're not really outside the three-point arc. Cody Baker tries to take the charge, doesn't get the call. Gabe Knight with a second and third opportunity out of bounds. It'll be Newman's ball. You talked about that Dublin game as the last time they lost. I was at that game. That was in the Windsor shootout, and that Dublin team is a really, really good team. Yeah, the they only lost by I've five all points, year. so uh, this is a quality squad. But just to make that point, the offense that the Jaguars run, it's right-hand dominant. And so see if Cardinal Newman focuses in on that and makes them go left. Cody Baker a little strong. Offensive rebound. Trevin Anderson Soria, no good. Both teams seem a little tight to me. A lot of pressure in this game. Windsor expected to win. They've fought their 14-0 in league. Yeah, Windsor really has more to lose than gain in this game. If they were to drop this game, it would not look good on their NCS resume. Parker Kennedy with a couple of offensive rebounds. Right now they figured it'd be a, a two or a three seed in the Division II playoffs. If they lose this, they could drop down to Look three, four, eight, 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 five. Newman, if they win this, on the other hand, has a lot to gain. Yeah, well, we've highlighted Kennedy before in games, and this guy could get up. He could absolutely jump out of the gym. If he gets an open opportunity to the basket, he's going to slam it down. And uh, he's got to make his free throws. He missed that first outside three-point shot. Got to make those free throws. Uh, both teams seem a little bit tight to me. But uh, remember, five seniors playing together, and they play together for a long time, so they have a lot of experience together. They're great at, on the defensive end as well. You know what your other guys on your team are going to do. Kennedy misses both free throws. That was what really hurt them also in that Dublin game. They missed three or four free throws in a row in the early part of the game when they had a nice lead, and they could have built it up even bigger had they knocked down some free throws in the first quarter wow. against Dublin. Especially, yeah, as you get against tougher competition, and the margin of victory is going to be less. Close games, you got to make those free throws. you got to shoot a high percentage if you want to advance. you got to wonder when Tom Bonfili will get Connor Rubicino in the game as Seth Doolittle hits. Nice little pump fake for him. Boy, Doolittle sure has improved this year, and he's really long down low. He's got a nice release, great-looking shot. Uh, that was really effective down low for them. I, what, the one thing I do notice is how much Cardinal Newman's defense is sagging back up. Curtis Johnson off the mark. Gavin Dove with his third rebound here in the early going. Remember Low scoring first half of this first quarter. Yeah. The last time we did a game, they cut the lead to two. Remember in the second half? Yeah. It was all because they took their defense and sagged back and forced Windsor to shoot from outside. Too little. Dumps it down low. Connor McCarthy up strong. It'll be Newman's ball. Yeah, nice play. Great position by McCarthy, but just down low, he, he just uh, didn't get it off the glass to, to make that shot a little bit easier for himself. Parker Coolis checking in now for Windsor. Anderson Soria dumps it to Gavin Dove. Gavin Dove with tough defense by Brent Tucker. Can't get the shot out, doesn't get the foul call. And now here comes Connor Rubitino. Also, Jalen Drowell will check in for Newman. So Rubitino will make his first appearance of the night at the 4.05 mark. Well, we know how good Rubitino can be. Uh, apparently, he was pretty darn good in last night's game. I didn't actually see the game, but he had 18 points. And they said he wanted the ball at the end of the game, a game that they beat Montgomery 57 uh, to uh, 54, I believe, to advance to here tonight. Yeah, Montgomery had a seven-point lead in the fourth quarter and let it get away. Knight, flash, Coolis, no good. Offensive rebound, Coolis. Scrambling after the ball is Rubitino. Great hustle by Cody Baker to get a hand in the face of the shooter. You can't let anybody have a wide open shot in this NBL championship game here tonight. Two to two, how do you like that? Seems more like the first inning than the first quarter in terms of that score. Yeah, kind of interesting. You know, I pointed out that on the neutral court, the Winters only two and two on the year. So out of those four games, they're two and two. But you know, you're talking about a team that has a 16 game winning streak. 
Gavin Dove back up top to Seth Doolittle. Six seconds to shoot. Rubitino just now realizes it, dumps it to Seth Doolittle. Cody Baker with an offensive rebound, but it kicked off his foot. Tough break for the Cardinals. I thought that was great recognition by Rubitino to kick the ball out. The double had come. They thought he was going to shoot it, and uh, Doolittle able to get the wide open shot. Baker coming up with the ball, but just uh, not able to hand it on the way to the hoop. That looked like it was going to be an easy score. Both teams in a man-to-man -man defense, and both teams are playing pretty tight, forcing the outside shot. But, uh, but the Jaguars definitely has the size advantage out on the field. Dane DiMattei making the call on that slap out. Coach Montfili was trying to give him some help with the call. The other official's view was kind of blocked. Ryan Mathis, he was underneath the basket. Gabe Knight for three. He is money. Five points for Knight. Five points for Windsor. Yeah, I really feel like Gabe Knight's the leader of this team, and he is super talented. Can shoot it from anywhere. Connor Rubitino, no good. Coolis has the board. You know, I, I know Rubitino likes shooting his jump shot generally, but when he when he got that injury, it, it seems to me that maybe sometimes it's better if he just shoots the set shot because it takes that variable out of it, that injured knee, because he can shoot the basketball well from either way. So it's like a free throw, a long free yeah, throw. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So sometimes I think he, if he's wide open, he might be better off shooting, shooting just the set shot and not the jump shot. Windsor by three, a little over two minutes to go now. Knight backing in on Doral, dumping it to Tucker, and Tucker scores. Nice pass. Well, with a double pump, somebody's open, and you find him underneath the basket, that's just great passing by the back one. Five-point lead now. Newman with just two points. Rubitino will try to change that, gets it to Doolittle. Doolittle using the block from Roberts. Roberts had checked into the game, the offensive lineman, and he was kind of plowing traffic that time. Here comes Tucker. He's fouled, he'll shoot a pair. I really like the aggressiveness of, uh, of Tucker getting to the basket, driving. He saw the open lane and uh, just kind of put his head down. And here's the pass by Gabe Knight. The double came, and he saw Tucker go underneath. That was just a great movement and awareness by Tucker to get underneath and Knight find it for an easy pass down low. Tucker gets the first one. Yeah, it was 2-2, now it's 8-2. So uh, the Jaguars, they score in bunches. They can score the basketball in many different ways out on the floor. They're athletic, they're tall, and uh, there's a reason they're undefeated in win. And Tucker gets a bow. Four points now for Brent Tucker as he extends the lead to seven. Jalen Doral. You can see that Winter's sagging off defensively as well. They're forcing Carter Newman to take the outside shot. Rubitino misses. Tucker has the rebound. Brad Morado is on the floor now as Tucker tries to three and sticks it. Wow. 12 to 2. If Niner, Tucker, or Hot tonight, uh, you're in trouble. I mean, those guys have unlimited range, and uh, they're deadly. There's a steal. Ahead to Gabe Knight. A little too far under the basket. And Murado has the ball, but Cardinal Newman turns it back over, and Chase Knowles lays it in. What great defensive anticipation in the open court and one of the more athletic moves we've seen, Dave. Johnson and Rubitino going at it right there. Those two were teammates as an AAU players growing up and uh, 
They played a lot of games together. You know, they kind of have fun going against each other, too. Yeah, sometimes that brings out the greatest competition when you're playing against your friends, too, though. And uh, let's see how Cardinal Newman is able to handle this. They're down 14-2 to two now here in the first quarter. Trevin Anderson Soria up top. Gets it over to Murano, and look out. Coolis has it. Up strong. Shot blocked. Chase Knowles right there. Tapped by Kennedy. Kennedy again, but it's too late. Wow, what a sequence. Windsor 14, Cardinal Newman 2 after 1 here in the NBL Tournament Championship game. The Jaguars are fired up and they lead by 12. We'll be back with the start of quarter number 2 in just a moment. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We are invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 National Qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Here we go, quarter number two, a big lead for Windsor. Cardinal Newman is going to have to regroup. Nice backdoor cut by Julio, but he couldn't handle the pass. Five turnovers by Newman. Well-designed play by Coach Bonfilly, and uh, they executed it. They just weren't able to handle it and make the layup toward the end. So, so right now, it was 2-2, uh, two -two, and then it was 8-2 all of a sudden by the Jaguars, and then 14-2 at the, at the end of the quarter. Uh, Cardinal Newman's got to play great defense, and they're just going to have to kind of claw and scratch and try to find a way to score the basketball against the Jaguars. Down the lane, Tucker, he's had a good start. Chase Knowles blocked from behind by Doolittle. Cardinals are working hard. They just have not been able to get their shots to drop. That was nice defense right there. Yeah, it was. I'd rather see Knowles just take it out at that point. He was surrounded by the trees, a little bit too, too tall for him. Baker, no good. Connor. McCarthy hustles after it, but Seth Doolittle steps on the line. That game we did back in January of these two teams, it was Cody Baker that had the hot hand. He kept him in the game by shooting the outside ball. Let's see if they can run some plays, get him off the screen, get him some open looks, to try to get them back in this basketball game. Windsor trying to add to the lead. Been a long time since Cardinal Newman scored a basket. Knight misses. You won't see Cardinal Newman going into a zone. They're going to play man to man the whole time. That's good fun. Fun to do his strategy all the time. Tell you what, Windsor is teeing up tonight. Cody Baker misses Gavin Dove right there. Nice play by Gavin Dove as he gets the offensive board. Yeah, between Doolittle, Dove, and Baker, uh, they're, they're formidable. They strong down low, they can shoot the ball well. They just have to get to the offensive glass. They're gonna have to stop, they're gonna have to stop the big runs from the Jaguars, though. They like to get in your passing lane, steal the ball, and then they just go on runs and you get all you all frustrated. They just keep scoring the basketball. Kennedy, back up to Tucker. Four seconds to shoot. Tucker misses. It's going to be Cardinal Newman's ball. Coolis was on the line when he came down with that rebound. Yeah, I think either way, it was a shot clock violation or it was out of bounds, one of the two. So, okay, Cardinal Newman's got the basketball again. You got to watch Doles in the backcourt. He is the fastest player out there on the floor and super athletic defensively. I think our title sponsor tonight, Cameron and Cameron. 
Vineyard and Rant Supplies, as always, stepping up to help us make it happen. Here comes Windsor now, as Kennedy comes down with the rebound. Nice shot from the outside. It's McCarthy who comes down with the rebound. Yeah, Parker Kennedy is really talented, but man, with his athleticism and his ability to get to the basket, I'd really like to see him put it on the floor and get to the, get to the hoop. Too little. Blocked by Kennedy. Yeah, there's, there's an example right there. I mean, this guy can absolutely fly, and, and if he can get one step on you, get to the basket, even though he had that open, open look back there, I'd, I'd like to see him get to the basket and, and get others involved or just cram it in the hole. Doug trying to bounce it down low. Now spin it, Kohut. Kohut flips it up, no good. McCarthy tries to tap it in, and he's fouled from behind. Kind of a break there for Newman because he had missed the first shot, but ended up with the ball. Just nicked off the front of the rim. Yeah, he tried to tip that first one in. I, I, I mean, maybe, maybe if he would have made it, it would have been good, but I'd like to see him gather that ball and then get it back up. But uh, good effort. It's all about effort right now for Cardinal Newman. they got to be... Great on the defensive end. They got to play good offense, run their offensive sets with some good shots. And in some instances, the Jaguars are kind of overplaying the pass lanes, trying to come up with steals. Go back to work, cut. Make that pass. Go back to work, get these away. This is both. Tucker had the rebound. Ten points, and there's Gavin Dove with a steal. Man, I'll tell you what, Windsor hasn't turned it over much. No, they're not. They, they hit the ball real well. Well, they shoot it so quickly, too, often. That was an air ball. Yeah. yeah. He, he was forcing that one. He rushed it. Gabe Knight right down the middle of the defense. Great shot. He goes coast to coast on that one. Making a 12 point lead. Rubitino trying to return the favor now. Gets Kennedy up in the air, and he goes to the line. So he just can't elevate like he used to. No, not right now, but uh, but that shot was much more than a good. The other one, he hurried when he was on the baseline. He just turned. He wasn't even square to the hoop. Turned, flipped, and shot it. But on this one, he gathered himself. He took the contact. He's a super smart player, and then was able to knock down the hoop. So uh, the basket should be good, and he should be shooting one. At halftime, they're going to be announcing the Battle of the Fans winner for the North Bay League. Steve Arrow is here. And he'll be making that presentation at the half, so be sure to catch that. Rubitino at the line. Got it. So Rubitino completes the old fashion. He's got three, it's a 16-7 game. Cardinal Newman hanging in there, despite the difficulty scoring. Yeah, well they're winning this quarter five to two right now, they just need to keep chipping away at it. Chase Knowles, not known for his outside shooting, but he sticks a three right there. Yeah, really nice when your guy is wide open, your point guard can knock down that shot. It just opens up everything for, for all your team. Cody Baker on the right side, guarded by Knight. Rubitino working hard down low against Kennedy, a lot of contact, works himself loose, almost got it. He will go to the line. Well, what they've done is they're spreading out offense around the three-point perimeter. They're posting up Rubitino down low. He's rotating with the basketball, and they're trying to get that entry pass into him. I would imagine the Jaguars will probably bring the double at some point if this, this still remains effective because Connor Rubitino, he's a load to deal with. Rubitino gets them both. Interesting thing about this start and the fact that Cardinal Luma got off to such a rough start, Coach Bonfili never used a timeout. Now they only trail by 10, they're not out of this game yet. They gotta just keep playing tough basketball. There's Gabe Knight, oh my, it's good. And one, Gabe Knight to the line. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? He's fun yeah, to watch. He I remember last year we did a number of their games and he was fun to watch, he and Tucker, in the uh, Brent Callen tournament. But 
there he was driving in the hoop, taking the contact and having enough body control and enough finesse to get that ball to go down. Gabe Knight. Yeah, and you're talking about a high percentage free throw shooter as well. All right, let's see what Cardinal Newman does. Are they going to keep Rubatino outside? Or are they going to bring him down low again and work the perimeter and try to get him down low? Ten points for Gabe Knight. There goes Rubatino trying to work along the baseline. Connor McCarthy is fouled. Very physical game thus far. Both teams playing some extremely intense defense. Yeah, at this point, it's you know it's 22 to nine Jags, but if the Cardinals could uh, to keep working down low and chipping away, you know maybe cut it to maybe a nine point game at half, I think they'd have to feel like they're still in the game pretty good. McCarthy, a rare outside shot by him, and Chase Knowles has a rebound. Tucker. Off the mark, Cody Baker has the rebound, his second. Baker has not scored yet. He's the leading scorer for Cardinal Newman on the season, although Rubitino has picked up his scoring in the last few weeks. There's Seth Doolittle. Back out to Rubitino for three. There he is, the Connor Rubitino of old, sticking along three. Well, at the end of last year when he was a junior, prior to that knee injury, I, I thought he was you know, Division One scholarship for sure, but, uh, but with the injury, I don't know what's going to happen for him. But uh, that was a beautiful, very difficult shot there from three, and, and shooting like that can get you back into any game. Here comes Rubitino again now, getting inside, spinning, and scoring. Rubitino taking things upon himself. Yeah, and he has ten points. Yeah, Rubitino from last year, right there. He's his knee is better. It's not all the way better, but. He's tough, man, whoa. Well, if you're the Jaguars and you're uh, Coach Taylor, you're gonna have to make some adjustments here. You're gonna have to maybe double this kid down low, this guy named Connor Rubitino. But there's the outside shot. He just, that's a catch and shoot, just cold-blooded drain. That's beautiful. On the other hand, if you're Coach Bonfili, you've made some great adjustments here. You've gone down low to Rubitino. You tried to work Baker around the outside. Took another cut inside. Rubitino you know, basically doing a great job down low. Von feeling out the 722 career wins. He started 14th all time in California. He's moved up to number 12. No league title this year. Who knows how far the Cardinals will go in Division Four? They do not figure to get a home game unless they win this game tonight. That could get them one home game in the NCS playoffs. Yep, and right now they trail by eight, but it's only the second quarter, and uh, they're starting to figure something out on offense. They just gotta keep these Jaguars contained because they can go on a scoring run like you've never seen. Coolis down in the corner, dribbles back up and fires one up. A rebound by Gabe Knight using his long arms to get the ball, fires it over into the corner. Chase Knowles now. And that basket goes. Nice shot by Coolis, and he'll go to the free throw line. I just think Chase Knowles has got such a quick first step that it's so important for him, for this team to, you know, as they go through the CIF in advance, and even tonight, for him to take you off the dribble, to try to get to the basket. He's athletic. He can shoot a shot from many different angles. It really changes the game for this for this Jaguars basketball team when he drives, draws, dishes, or completes, completes the layup. Chase Knowles unable to complete that three-point play, and now here's Tucker trying to get off a shot here as we go under one minute in the quarter, and there's Gabe Nye sticking the three, and it's a 13-point lead. Yeah, they were back on defense, too. Knight just decided to raise up and nail it. Seth Doolittle, under 30. Doolittle goes to the line. Coolis got him from behind. Yeah, the double bump fake and the draw on the body contact. Uh, that's why he ended up picking up that foul. But uh, he kind of was trapped down there against the double team. So it was, it was good defense, but he was trapped. And uh, he ended up uh, you know, bailing himself out, actually. Doolittle off the mark. Uncharacteristic of Cardinal Newman. They have not shot well from the free throw line. 
thus far, other than Rubatino, who is three for three. And Doolittle gets one of two. Yeah, if, if Doolittle and Dove could start scoring the ball down low, it would really change this game. They, I think they're hurrying their shot because of the good defense down low, but they got to gather themselves, maintain control, and uh, the second quarter will wind it down here. Under 10 seconds now, Gabe Knight into the corner, no good. Rubatino, three quarters of the court off the Backboard, no good, and it's a 12-point lead. Cardinal Newman only scoring 15 points in that first half, Ronnie. That is uncharacteristic of them, but they want the score to be pretty low if they're going to play against a Windsor team that's very capable of lighting you up, and uh, unfortunately for them, it's a little too low on their side. Well, uh, at the end of the first quarter, Dave, it was 14-2. to two. So they found a way to start scoring the basketball. They came back and, and ended up scoring 13 points uh, in that second quarter. But uh, they're going to have to continue to play great defense. They're going to have to do a good job on the offensive end. And somebody other than Connor Rubatino is going to have to find a way to consistently score the basketball. I would imagine it's either going to be Doolittle or Baker. They'll make some adjustments at halftime and come out. Let's see if they can fight back into this basketball game. All right, we'll take a quick break and come right back with the Battle of the Fans presentation here in the NBL Tournament Championship. Windsor up by 12. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Many of the top players on both rosters for tonight's NBL championship game got their start playing AAU basketball for the Express Basketball Club. To be your best, play with and against the best at Express Basketball Club. Now time for the Battle of the Fans presentation. Steve Arrow at midcourt to make the presentation. So Windsor High School wins the battle of the fans. And of course, they are thrilled about that as the student section will take that banner back to Windsor High School and hang it with pride. 
We'll take another break right here and be back with some highlights of the first half of play as we get ready for the second half of this NBL Tournament Championship game. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We are invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 National Qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Many of the top players on both rosters for tonight's NBL championship game got their start playing AAU basketball for the Express Basketball Club. To be your best, play with and against the best at Express Basketball Club. Welcome back here at the half. Windsor by 12, great defense by the Jags. Ronnie, I imagine they talked a lot about just doing the same thing defensively, waiting for their opportunities offensively. Not turning the ball over. That was uh, another stat that was very much in their favor in the first half. Yeah, I thought the Jaguars' game plan just went according to uh, what Coach uh, Travis Taylor wanted. Uh, they shot the ball sometimes from outside. They shot a high percentage from three. Uh, they drove the basketball. I was surprised they didn't make more layups on the right-hand side. I guess uh, Coach Javon Feely was watching that and uh, you know played accordingly on the defensive end. But, but for Cardinal Newman, I thought they did a, a pretty good job on the defensive end but they still have to do a better job scoring the basketball. When you only scored two points in the first quarter, uh, that's just not enough scoring. They rebounded in the second. They scored 13 points in the second quarter, so they found a way to score the ball. Rubitino had 10 points. Uh, I think the player that was most impressive to me, though, in the first half was Chase Knowles. When he's getting to the basket, when he can shoot that outside shot and make it, it changes the whole dynamic for the game. And when, if they want to advance in the CIF, they're going to need him to be really key and drive the basketball and use his athleticism. Let's take a look at the highlights of that first half of play. Starting with Cardinal Newman. Yeah, Cardinal Newman, I mean, they, they didn't score the ball very well in the first half, but then they were able to get inside. They had a lot of good looks, and there's the inside shot in the second quarter by Seth Doolittle. Uh, I'd like to see him use a softer touch inside. He has the ability to make that shot. He's got a great release. He's got the height. He's got the leaping ability. And Cody Baker, he was the hot hand in the last game that we did here on YSN 365. If he could get some open shots, that could get them back in the game as well. But it was Connor Rubitino, of course, you know, for Cardinal Newman that had 10 points and made some outside shots, did some damage inside. He's just got such an, a great ability to adjust inside and a great basketball sense. Look at this three. Oh, wow, that was unbelievable right there. He just raised and fired and just and drained that one from outside. Uh, they had 13 points in the second quarter. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to have to try to get 13 to 20 points in the third quarter and then hold maybe uh, Cardinal New or the Jaguars to maybe maybe about 15 and then just try to get in the game and try to win it in the fourth quarter. All right, let's take the highlights for Windsor from that first half of play, and there were a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, this is a team that is super talented on offensive end. They keep improving defensively, and Chase Knowles, a beautiful pass 
over the top to Gabe Knight. Knight was our player of the, the game last time we covered him on YSN 365. He had 24 points. And how about the outside shooting? Just so smooth is number 24. What a talent. And then Tucker, he was able to bring the ball up the floor, look for the open shot. Hey, he didn't need to pass it. He just drained it from about 25 feet. Tucker is good. And then this was my favorite play of the first half is when Knowles is driving to the hoop, breaking down the defense. He's so athletic, he can elevate. And then if the defense comes with a double or the shot blocker's there, he can just dish it off to somebody else and kick it out for a wide open three. So the Jaguars, they just need to keep doing what they did in the first half. And for Cardinal Newman, you got to shut him down and you got to find a way to score the basketball. Windsor will start off with the Rock here to start the second half of play, leading by 12. See what the old pro Tom Montfeely has up his sleeve. Starts off with a steal by Connor McCarthy. Good defense for Newman. It's the third turnover by Windsor all night long. Yeah, he's probably their best defensive player on the floor. He's going to overplay the passing lanes and try to come up with some steals. They're going to have to take some risks in this game. Oh, Cody Baker rattles it, but it doesn't drop. Chase Knowles bumped hard by Trevin Anderson Soria, and he picks up the personal foul. Yeah, that was a really good call by the officials. Knowles had the, the lane, he had the opportunity, and the defender slid in front of him. Great big recognition by Knowles. Up top it goes to Knowles. See who grabs the early momentum here in this quarter. Gabe Knight around the screen, looking for Kennedy underneath, settles for Knowles. Curtis Johnson tries one, and it's Seth Doolittle who has the rebound. Well, one thing you know, Cardinal Newman is not going to let you have easy shots. They play tough defense. Coach Bonfili insists on it, and it's all about effort for Cardinal Newman. McCarthy at the elbow gives it back to Doolittle. Neither team has scored to start this quarter. Cardinal Newman, if they can get a couple quick baskets right here and get some momentum, that would be huge. Baker wide open behind the screen. Off the mark, Doolittle has the offensive rebound, dumps it down to McCarthy, and he can't hit. Wow, two really good looks for Cardinal Newman. Baker off, running the baseline around the double pick and got the open look for the three. And then Connor McCarthy receiving the pass down low, just against, uh, had the defender on his back, but just wasn't able to finesse that one in. Two great opportunities for Cardinal Newman, not able to take advantage of it. Yeah, you're not gonna get much better looks than that. Nope. Kennedy flashes loose underneath. Good defense by Gavin Dove as he disrupts the shot. Here comes Newman with a chance to get it down to 10 or nine if they can hit a three. Pass goes awry. Oh, the officials are gonna talk this one over. It was tipped. Yeah, it was Knowles around the back and deflecting it out of bounds. But that's great officiating. You know, I, I mean, you, you, you're out of position, you miss a call, and the other official says, hey, uh, I got it. And so uh, they got the right call. Seth Doolittle rattles the rim, no good. Gavin Dove keeps it alive. Dove underneath. Off the mark, the Cardinals not able to convert. Brent Tucker weaving his way inside, and he's fouled from behind by Baker. Yep, Tucker attacking the basket. All right, so Rubicino coming back into the game. Let's see if that changes anything. You know, I, I was thinking at halftime about this. If they ran Baker and Rubicino on one side and did a two-man game with pick and roll, pick and pop, that might be pretty effective. There's Tucker tapping it in. First basket of the quarter, and it goes to Windsor to make it a 14-point lead. If both guys can shoot the ball from outside. Both guys can drive the ball. Uh, it might be pretty effective because they're in a man-to-man -man defense. They're not playing a zone. There's Doolittle. Nice move. And he scores, Seth Doolittle. 
Yeah, and he might have got a foul, too. He, he, I think he was fouled on that one. Doolittle, Rubitino, Curtis Johnson, Tucker, and Gabe Knight, all part of the North Bay Express Basketball Club. When they were at AAU level, and Chase Knowles hits one from three. He's had a great night. You mentioned it. You thought he was doing a great job tonight. He truly is. Rubitino backed in and draws the foul. And that just shows you how smart Rubitino is. Uh, but yeah, back to Knowles. Knowles is extremely fast. He's got a good enough handle on the dribble. And he can break you down with that fast first step in his athleticism. So uh, he's really tough to guard. And he doesn't have the most beautiful shot. He shoots a little bit like a knuckleball. But it's been going in. And when it's going in, it just changes the whole game for the Jaguars. Rubitino doesn't get the second one, and Gabe Knight comes down with the board. 31 to 18. Newman's still trying to get to that 20 point mark, and we are four minutes into the third quarter. There's Gabe Knight to the rack with the left hand, and one. Pretty move for Gabe Knight. Yeah, that's finesse there. How often do we see that at game night? That's exciting. Why don't you take him up the dribble? The outside, they're working the ball around, and here comes Knight. Watch him. Watch the left hand finesse. Wow, that's so beautiful. Finger roll off the glass. Remember, he's right handed. I love it. I love seeing the dexterity in a basketball player like that. 16 points for Gabe Knight as he connects on the free throw. Cody Baker wide open, and he gets one to go. Finally. His first of the night. Well, they need to find a way to get him that shot right there. That's his favorite spot. Get him back to that spot and find a way to get him. If you have to run off a double pick, a pick and roll, whatever he's got to do. Seth Doolittle with some defense. Blocks the shot. A little sloppy. Windsor turns it over. And now Cody Baker is fouled. Yeah, pretty good foul, actually, by uh, by Curtis Johnson. It was a breakaway. They had numbers starting to do it. And Johnson picking up the foul, but but uh, a very timely foul by Curtis Johnson. Smart thinking out there on the floor. Let's see if they try to run Baker off that screen again and try to get him open. Doolittle across the line. Doolittle shuffles it down to Gavin Dove. Up to Rubitino. Chase Knowles trying to stay with him. Rubitino hanging, doesn't get it. And it was close. You know, I really like the fact that Rubitino is not settling for the three. He's trying to get to the basket. He's trying to draw the contact and get to the free throw line. And here was Doolittle off the handle. Nice job bringing the ball up the basketball court against the pressure. And then Rubitino, he could have settled for the three right here against Knowles, but he got to the basket, picked up the foul, and get to the free throw line. First one was no good. Second one's no good. Wins it down the floor quickly, and it's a blocking foul. Kennedy got to the spot just ahead of Trevin Anderson Soria. Well, it was pretty close. I think he was probably moving there at the end. Yeah, he was sliding into him. Very good call. And Kennedy with the athleticism. What a what a beautiful basket. Uh, if you get an opportunity to attack the basket with Parker Kennedy, give him the ball. Both teams a little cold from the free throw line right now. Let's see if it comes back to haunt. Either one. 12 point lead now for the Windsor Jags. And Kennedy gets one of two. Rubitino being hawked up the floor, double teamed. He gets it down to McCarthy all the way across to Cody Baker for three. A little strong, tap. Gabe Knight has it. Look out, open floor. Three on two. Parker Kennedy all the way to the rack. Great ball movement and hustle by the Jags. Yeah, hit ahead. You got a guy ahead of you, get him the basketball. And Tom Bonfili would like a timeout. He'll take a 30. 
Dave, especially when you have a player like Parker Kennedy that can finish in the open court. He's got the athleticism to elevate. He could arguably slam that ball, but he laid it in softly off the glass. And uh, beautiful, beautiful play by Parker Kennedy. Better look by Gabe Knight ahead and pass to, Ken to Kennedy. Look at Knight with the rebound. Recognizing the open player ahead and Kennedy with a finish. Good defense by Cardinal Newman, but just better offense by the Jaguars attacking the basket. They can score in bunches. They can shoot the three. You try to get back on defense and stop the layup. They kick it back out for the three-point shot. Knight, Johnson, Tucker, even Knowles has been hitting the shot tonight. Uh, these guys look good. Trevin Anderson Soria up top, gets it across. Under three to go. Newman needs a rally, and they need it now. Anderson Soria no good, Gabe Knight has it. Tucker with a little elbow, that's an offensive foul. Dane DiMatteo all over that one. The official here tonight. Yeah, you have to say that both officiating crews tonight in the championship have done a, a marvelous job. Sometimes there's close calls, but uh, I haven't really seen a, a missed call tonight. I mean, pretty tough. Pretty tough job to do out there on the floor. Rubitino back up top. 15 point lead for Windsor. Rubitino posting up, goes up strong. Tucker has the rebound. Yeah, that was an attempted shot where his knee did affect him because he wasn't able to elevate the same, so he couldn't twist his body around to get squared up. Um, Kennedy for three. I think they got to cut it to 10 or 9 here by the end of the third to have a chance to win this basketball game. Defense, 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 Left side, Morado back in the game. See if they can shake him free. Rubitino tries one a little short off the front rim, and Gabe Knight has it. Parker Kennedy off the front rim. Kennedy with nine rebounds for Windsor tonight. Minute 30 to go here in the third quarter. Trevin Anderson Soria gets it to Rubitino. He's wide open and he can't get it to go. A couple of subs waiting to check in now for Newman as Gabe Knight pulls up wide open and doesn't get it. But Cardinal Newman's had their chances. Certainly. They've had their open opportunities, but they just haven't been able to knock those shots down. SCL championship games are tomorrow night at Santa Rosa Junior College. Annalee taking on Petaluma and the boys. Annalee and Sonoma in the girls. This ball kept alive. Connor McCarthy has it. Brad Murata wide open. Good three-point shooter. Doesn't get this one off the front rim, and Gabe Knight has the ball. There's Parker Kennedy. Oh, my. Somehow that one came out and hit net and came back out. Gavin Dove ended up with the rebound. Yeah, he didn't make that, but that's, that's what I'm talking about. He has the ability to break you down. He's so athletic. He's good with the handle. He can get to the basket. Uh, that just changes everything when he's putting the ball on the floor, as well as Chase Knowles. I mean, man, these guys are these guys are good. Foul on Kennedy. I've got him for three. That's what they have him on the scoreboard as well. So he may have to take a seat right here. Which could change the complexion of things just a bit. Brandon Malley checking in now. Yeah, 8.6 seconds remaining. Well, you know, a three sure would change some momentum here for Cardinal Newman if they could knock something down. Doolittle checks the clock. Three, two, one. Got it! Oh my, off the front rim and in. Wow. 
Yeah, well, you know, they, as, as much of a runaway as this game has seemed to be, they still have a chance. I mean, they're down 13. We've seen greater deficits uh, than this, and uh, we'll see. Fourth quarter coming up, but uh, they got their work cut out, of, out for them here against the Jaguars in the fourth quarter. Another low-scoring quarter. It's 37-24 as we head for the home stretch here in the NBL Tournament Playoff Championship game. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. All right, here we go, the final eight minutes. On the floor, the Windsor cheerleaders fresh off their Battle of the Fans championship here in the NBL. Well, since the first quarter, it's been a pretty close game. It was a 14-2 game in favor of the Jaguars after the first. Then it was 13-13 in the second quarter. 10-9 in that last quarter in favor of the Jaguars. Newman needs a rally, and they start the quarter strong as Connor McCarthy lays it in. Cut the lead to 11. Interesting to see how far these teams could go in the playoffs. North Coast section play starts next week. I wonder, is there a point in this game where Coach Bond Feely goes to a half-court trap or maybe a full-court press? to try to force some turnovers, or does he just stay in the half-court set? We'll see. Travis Taylor takes the timeout, 7-12 to go. We'll step aside for just a moment and be back with more from the NBL Tournament Championship game. It's 37-26, Windsor over Newman. This game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Winter Jaguar fans. Obviously, having a good time tonight with the lead, doing their thing. Yeah, they won the battle with fans, but they had a lot to cheer about this year, too. Yeah, they did. Yeah, a lot of motivation. Makes it easy, it does. Yeah, it makes it easy, there's no doubt about it. A steal by McCarthy. I have Windsor down for just five turnovers as we head for the seven minute mark. Seth Doolittle, Connor McCarthy. It's going to be Newman's ball. Wow. Now, one thing you can't deny is their effort. They were battling underneath. Well, you got to wonder how different this season might have been had Damian Wallace been able to play for the Cardinals this year. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about a press breaker, a drive guy, a guy that shoots the ball from outside, just. You know, one of the best athletes in the NBL, one of the best athletes in Northern California. Nice move down the lane by Murado. Brad Murado, his first basket of the night, and the lead is under 10 for the first time since the first quarter. Tonight guarded by Jalen Doral, junior versus senior. 
Curtis Johnson settles for Knight. McCarthy trying to stay with him. What, nice defense by Murado. Brad Murado strips it away. Went off Gabe Knight's knee. The Cardinal Lumen crowd starting to get involved now. A huge possession coming up right here as we take a look at that. Yeah, I thought it was a jump ball. That's what I saw. But it was great defense, and it went off at night. It was called out, and not, out on night, but it was a... Uh, the defender had both hands on the ball. There's a couple little kids that keep running across the court. They have no idea how close to danger they really are, but they're just having a great time. Every time the action starts, they go, uh-oh, steal by Johnson. Johnson back to Knowles. Doesn't get it, but Kennedy does. Oh, my, don't play. Big basket right there for Windsor as they steal it. Trying to put a lot of pressure on now. Seth Doolittle turns, shoots, doesn't get it. Curtis Johnson has it. Both Baker and Rubitino off the floor right now for Cardinal Newman. In the corner, kept alive by Tucker as he goes over Murado. And Murado thought he was clean on that, but he gets called for the foul. Yeah, it looked pretty good, but when you're taking your arm down against the shooter, you're gonna you're gonna get the foul call just about every time. And the hustle of Cardinal Newman, but one thing you can't do is you cannot turn the basketball over. You're chipping away at the lead, you've got the momentum, and you turn the ball over, and then you allow them to score the basketball. So uh, here comes Rubitino back into the game uh, for a little bit more offense. Rubitino back in, yep. Anderson Soria back in. Yep. Tucker gets one of two to make it a 12 point game. There's still time, but they're gonna have to be almost perfect to win this basketball game. See if Rubitino has a surge in him. Remember Montgomery led Cardinal Newman by seven in the fourth quarter and Rubitino got hot. Seth Doolittle gets it back to Trevin Anderson, Surya. Rubitino with Kennedy. Rubitino goes up strong. The ball kept alive for a moment. Chase Knowles ends up with it. And Trevin Anderson, Surya is called for the foul. I think he got Knowles just enough on the arm to deflect it out. I think that was a really good call. It has happened right in front of us here. And, uh, and a timeout taken now by Tom Bonfili. 4.49 to go. We'll be back with the conclusion of tonight's game here in the NBL Tournament Playoff Championship in just a moment. support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We're invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. Garden Lumen crowd waiting to uh, perhaps explode. They've been in the game a little bit. Boy, if they can get a couple quick baskets right here, could really get them involved, and that could make a huge difference down the stretch. Well, they've, they've played a little more than three minutes, and they have outscored the Jaguars four to three, but not enough as of yet. Uh, they're going to have to go on a run. They're going to have to turn the ball over, in my opinion, uh, to get back in this game. I don't know if you go to a full court press uh, I don't know if you're going to half court trap, but you got to play maybe a little more aggressive defensively. You got to take some risks. You got to get in the passing lanes. You got to double. You got to try to get the ball out of their hands and hope you can turn them over and take advantage of it. Curtis Johnson will inbound it now for the Jags with a 12 point lead for Windsor, trying to remain undefeated in the NBL. There's Gabe Knight, double teamed. Johnson takes it up top. Doolittle right with him. Tucker gets it back up to Chase Knowles. The Jags are not in any kind of hurry at all. 4.29 to go. It's Knight for three. Game Knight. 19 points for the senior. 
Yeah, and he did that right with a hand right in his face. So uh, this guy can shoot from anywhere on the floor. He's a leader on the team, and he's the guy I want the ball in the hands of when it's coming down to clutch time for the Jaguars. Seth Doolittle. Doolittle answers. He has nine. Yeah, the way he shoots that ball, and as tall as he is, I'd like to see him take more of those. He really has a nice look at release. Newman goes with a double team, and it works. Doolittle with the steal. Rubitino ahead of the pack. Doesn't get it to fall. Cardinal going to a double team, trapping defense now. Got to imagine they're going to burn some clock, try to run a play, get the ball in the hands of Knight or Tucker, and if Knowles or Kennedy have a chance, drive the ball. Gabe Knight has it taken away, but the ball ends up in Curtis Johnson's hands. Tapped out of bounds. It's going to stay with Windsor. My coach Taylor was quite a player, huh? Travis oh, yeah. Taylor was good. Yeah, in fact, he was uh, talking to me about remembering playing here in the NBL tournament at Piner, how he had to kind of sell the idea to his kids because they were disappointed about not playing, being able to play at the JC. And he said, no, 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 Piner was a great venue. We used to have packed houses. Look at Parker Kennedy. A fader. As he's falling to the ground, he gets it and one. They just have a great combination of talent on this basketball team. Knight requires the double, and then Kennedy with a cross-court pass by Knight, and, uh, and Kennedy has the athleticism, Knowles has the, has the athleticism. They have a good bench, and uh, the guy's coming off the bench. You got senior talent here, five seniors uh, start this, this Jaguar squad. Parker Kennedy has had a real nice game defensively, has 10 rebounds. Seven points, all seven of his points have come in the second half. I remember, you know, we, we had talked about it previously, but, but Kennedy last year was not as muscular as he is this year. He put on some weight. I got to figure out what kind of program he's in, try to get on that program, you know, get fit. That guy has is, is got muscles and leaping ability, and he must be hitting the gym a lot these days. Kennedy will try to add the lead right now. Windsor in the bonus, and Kennedy gets that one. Acrobatic three-point play for Parker Kennedy. Seth Doolittle bounces it down low to Gavin Dub. Turnaround jumper by Dub is good. You know, on that one, he took a little more time to gather himself. He seemed a little bit more under control. There was shots earlier where uh, it seemed like he just was rushing it. And I know the Jaguars make you rush your shot with good defense, but he really did a great job there. Chase Knowles, Curtis Johnson, rainbow three, no good. Seth Doolittle, skies for the board. I think our title sponsor tonight, Cameron and Cameron, Vineyard and Ranch Supplies. Great place to go, not far from here, in Fulton. A steal by Parker Kennedy. And Kennedy lays it in. Been a huge difference maker tonight. Yeah, boy, is he tough in the open court. Cody Baker gets to the lead over the rim. He's only had five points tonight. They've done a nice job on him as we hit the two-minute mark. The lead is 13 for Windsor. Trying yeah. to remain undefeated. Yeah, they trail by 13. They can't just lay back and play defense. They got to get after the ball. Very rare to run the table in the NBL. We saw the Cardinal Newman girls do it two years in a row, and now the Windsor Jaguar boys have a chance to do it as well. Gabe Knight, guarded closely by McCarthy. Keeps it alive, goes to the left hand, doesn't get the roll. Rubatino now with a minute and 25 to go. Cardinal Newman running out of time. Seth Doolittle sticks a three. And a quick timeout. That's the second one Doolittle's made this quarter. I like his release. I like the way he shoots the basketball. He's tall. He's got a great 
sense of the basketball game. Look, he's open. Lupatino gives him the ball. Look at that beautiful release. Nice high arc. I'd like to see him shoot a little bit more. So that pulls them to within 10, not out of the realm of possibilities. Yeah, what was it, last year, Rubitino and uh, Cardinal Newman scored, what, 12 points in how many seconds? Yeah, like 30 against Costa Grande. You don't have to remind them. Yeah. Here's how they finished the regular season. Last time it was somebody other than Montgomery or Cardinal Newman was 2005 when Piner was in the NBL. Windsor did it this year. Great job. Santa Rosa just missed the playoffs, although it was their best year in over two decades. Yeah, we saw them uh, win a really exciting game, and uh, they were really impressive this year, too. It was fun to, fun to see them play. They've got a lot of good athletes on that team as well. A minute and 15 seconds to go now. Chase Knowles to Parker Kennedy along the baseline. Anytime Cardinal Newman gets a little bit of momentum going, Windsor takes it back away. Something was thrown on the court. They got it off, a little dangerous there. Yeah, somebody could get hurt. Might have to take away that Battle of the Fans banner. Here comes Cody Baker. Seth Doolittle, no good. Gavin Dove tries to save it. Can't get it back in. Fifty seconds to go. Wins are in control. Let's see if Cardinal Newman gets aggressive right here, tries to put him on the free throw line a couple times. Doesn't look like it. Although Coach Montvilli is saying, yeah, let's foul. Come on. For a second there, I thought they were just going to be content to let the time run off with 12 seconds to go, but that is not Coach Bonfili. Stelly, let's give it one or two more shots, I would say. Yeah, I think you, you foul this time, and if he makes both free throws, uh, you probably pull it off. Chase Knowles does get the first one of his better games on the season. Had a couple three-point baskets, which is has not been his forte. No, I, I just think he was really impressive here tonight. Gets both free throws. It's a 14-point lead. A steal by Knowles. Nine turnovers. Something else just got thrown on the floor. Now they're trying to self-police it up there in the Windsor. A water bottle was thrown on. Yeah, the one thing about throwing something on the floor, you know, you may not be happy with a call or something that's going on, but, uh, but one of these players out here on the floor might not see it, might not notice. Uh, they could end up falling on it, getting hurt. Uh, just uh, not very good sportsmanship. Coach Bonfili took a timeout, so we'll step aside ourselves right here while they mop up the floor and restore order here in this game. It's 52 to 38 Windsor over Cardinal Lemon with 25 seconds to go. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Still trying to get some of the water up off the floor on that far side. There's your score, 52-38. Windsor over Cardinal Newman. Yeah, one thing that the... Uh, one 
one thing that the Windsor Jaguars have to look forward to is uh, both Justin and Riley Smith are now on their team. And, uh, and these kids are, are over 6'6", and both of them are extraordinarily talented, so their future is very bright. Yeah, Riley was kind of the sixth man for most of the season. He's injured right now, but Justin came up from JV as Windsor dribbles it out in deep. Cardinal Newman has called it off, and there you have it. Windsor goes undefeated here in the NBL. They wrap up the regular season title, and now the postseason tournament championship here at Pioneer. What a season for the Windsor Jags. And of course, they hope it is far from over as NCS play starts next week. Well, for this senior class and for the Windsor Jaguars, they couldn't have hoped for anything better. I mean, going through the league undefeated, they now have a 17 game winning streak. Uh, this is a very, very talented team. And with their ability to shoot the basketball from the perimeter, unlimited range, 25, 28 feet. Their athleticism to drive to the basket, their ability to handle the ball on the open court to drive. They're just a very versatile team. So if they go into the CIF with a good shooting night, they're gonna be able to beat anybody anywhere. So it'll be really interesting to see how far they can advance. On the other hand, Cardinal Newman, they played really well. They just didn't shoot the ball well enough tonight to win the basketball game. So uh, really impressive, a lot of fun, and congratulations to Winter, and uh, congratulations also to Cardinal Newman, the girls' team, who won tonight as well. Yep, a 54-40 win for the Cardinal Newman girls, a 52-38 win for the Windsor Jaguar boys. We'll take a quick break right here and be back with a final word here from Piner High School in just a moment. Yeah, For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Many of the top players on both rosters for tonight's NBL championship game got their start playing AAU basketball for the Express Basketball Club. To be your best, play with and against the best at Express Basketball Club. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We're invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. 
For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Many of the top players on both rosters for tonight's NBL championship game got their start playing AAU basketball for the Express Basketball Club. To be your best, play with and against the best at Express Basketball Club. Welcome back. The crowd on the floor here at Piner High School as we wrap things up with our player of the game, a 52-38 win for the Windsor Jaguars as they go undefeated in the NBL this year and get ready for NCS play. Our player of the game is Parker Kennedy, who had a great game tonight, particularly on the defensive end. You guys held him just two points in the first quarter. What kind of a game plan did you guys have to try to shut the Cardinals down? I think it was more of a um, will to win and talking on defense, and we were all just in it from the start, and we just weren't. We knew that we could win, and we played like that. You ended up with uh, 10 rebounds tonight. A lot of great scores on this team. You don't always have to score. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But you had 12 points in the second half. What did you guys talk about at halftime, and what did you feel like you needed to do to keep the momentum going? Coach in the halftime uh, locker room, he just said he w it wasn't really a game plan. It was just more of we know what we're capable of, and it's a matter of if we can show it on, on the court or not. You guys were able to run the floor a little bit tonight. We're looking at one example right here. How fun is that when you guys get it going, get out in the open floor, and everybody's scoring? I get excited when it's a, a fast break because I'm always looking to jump up for the dunk and stuff. So No dunks tonight. I know the guys back yeah. in the control room were hoping for that. So yeah, mission too. accomplished. You guys run the table here in league play. Was that one of the goals you guys had in mind as the season was going along and you continued to, to roll through the NBL? Yes, it was. Yes, it was one of we, – we – we we had multiple goals before the season, and we accomplished all of them so far. So now it's NCS play. How far can you guys go? What's this team all about? What do you guys think you can accomplish? I think we're capable of going very far. It's just a matter of if we as a team can come together and have the will to go that far. Hey, Parker, I thought uh, it was really impressive from last year when we did your game to this year on how much size and muscle and athleticism. You, what was your program in the offseason, and what was your goal? Well, so I decided to play football for the first year as, as a senior. That didn't turn out so hot. I tore my MCL and sprained my PCL. And then, so I lifted weights with the football team. And then when football came, I just stopped playing half, halfway through. And we had CrossFit for a good, like, two or three months. And that, that's what got, I think that's what got the edge on us versus all the other teams. Yeah, it really gives you a good advantage. Yeah. I'm really impressed when you put the ball on the floor and can take somebody off the dribble because your athleticism is so great. What does Coach Taylor tell you about that? And is he trying to direct you in that direction as well? Or, or tell me more about that. I say, yeah, my go-to is attacking the, the um, rim. And that's what I strive to do. And I, you know, sometimes I get a little lazy and shoot the outside shot when I'm not supposed to. But, you know, I, I like attacking too. I think this team has really great balance to advance through the CIF. I also think that Chase Knowles has really improved this year. Can you tell me about Chase Knowles improvements? We know we know Brent Tucker and Gabe Knight can shoot the basketball. We know Curtis, Curtis Johnson is yeah he can jump out of the gym. But tell me about what is happening with Chase Knowles on the floor and how he's helping your team. Chase is a hell of a player. I mean I think he's put in he's put in a lot of work. Like with the team and then even on the off days he's with he's with his dad in the gym where his dad coaches just constantly just putting in work yeah okay so you guys win the NBL you've won 16 in a row what do you do now before advancing in the CIF what do you got to do just don't give up work as hard as we can and see how far we go all right Parker well you finished with a double double tonight 12 points 10 rebounds congratulations on that it was a lot of fun watching you and uh, good luck in NCS it, let's uh Let's keep this this train rolling. What do you say? Yes, sir. All right, Parker Kennedy, our player yeah, of the game. Thank you. As uh, the job. Windsor Jaguars, uh, they end up running the table this year. And uh, tonight, they played great defense. Uh, it was a very tough battle all the way around, Ronnie. I mean, Cardinal Newman played them extremely tough tonight and fought as hard as they could. 
And uh, a couple of missed shots, a couple of made shots here and there might have been a little bit different down the stretch. But one thing that was consistent all night, and that was Parker Kennedy's defense. He was rock solid down low tonight. Yeah, he was an absolute talent out there on the floor. His athleticism was more superior than anybody on the floor as well. And uh, Cardinal Newman, they kept trying to get back into the game. And when they had a little momentum, then they ended up turning the ball over, and then the Jags go on a little run. They just couldn't gather enough offensive firepower to win this game tonight. But uh, it's, you know, it's tough to beat a team three times in a season, and that's what the Jaguars have done to Cardinal Newman. But I'm interested to see how well the Jaguars can do in the postseason. They have a balance. They don't have a big inside. They don't have a 6'8", 6'9", high school center that can really intimidate shots. But they have a really great balance with athleticism and shooting that they could go far. But I still think Knowles is going to have to drive. Kennedy is going to have to be really effective in the open court. And I think Tucker and Knight are going to have to be on fire. And Curtis Johnson, don't let underestimate him. He's, he's played some really big games. We, we highlighted him. He had some dunks. He's, he's quite an athlete as well. And, and they have a coach that, that coaches a winning coach. Travis Taylor, he knows what to do. He does. He's a good one. No question about that. And he has proven it this year. That's going to do it for our coverage. Big shout out to our sponsors, Express Basketball Club, North Bay Elite, Chevron Oil Star, and our title sponsor, Cameron and Cameron Vineyard and Ranch Supplies. Without them, we would not be here tonight. That is for sure. That's what it takes to get us out here to broadcast these games, and we really appreciate the support from the business community. There's your final score, Windsor 52-38 to over Cardinal Newman. It's on to NCS play for everyone in the NBL. Tomorrow night at Santa Rosa Junior College, the SCL takes center stage. We may have highlights. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll try to get some kind of coverage of that one. You can bet we will have something for you on YSN365.com. For everyone here, on our staff tonight. They did a great job bringing you the action live. I'm Dave Cox, and I want to say a special thanks to you, Ronnie, for coming all the way down from Tahoe, battling the snow to get down here to call these games. That's dedication. Thank you. Yeah, it's just really another great season to do it here on YSN, to bring these games to people. And uh, hey, congratulations also to the girls' team because uh, they went 14-0 in league as well. That's just, uh, it's just a very difficult thing to do. I'm interested to see how far they're able to go as well. And uh, congratulations to Windsor as well. They just, uh, it was fun to do these games this year. All right, well, that's going to do it for us tonight. We'll see you again soon right here on YSN365.com. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite.